Welcome to another edition of Break It To Make It. Our competitors will be given a random object to bust into a hard to break thing. With cash on the line, who will come out on top? We're about to find out. Welcome to Make Out To Break Out, the internet's first kissing competition series. Welcome to Break It To Make It. I'm gonna be doing both. It's Balloween baby in this year? I'm going as Kyle. <laughs> Who here wants to see me break an object with another object? Say yeah! Yes. Victim one! Ooh, this looks breakable. The crunchy ice stress ball. Big brother, big sister of our crunchy snow stress ball. You could make a sleep track to this and it would sell. Four? Ah. Oh man, that's my Huey Lewis and the News Greatest Hits cassette. Dude, seriously. The 80s have come calling. Number three. You've heard of fighting fire with fire, and Eric's gonna fight ice with ice. Ah, cold. Oh, I put one of these in my daughter's lunchbox just this morning. It's number one. Give me the goods. Did the goods come in? The goods did indeed come in. You'll be using a lucky gemstone. I implore you to go back through the last two Break It To Make It's. You will hear me complain about riggery happening. For the last time, Sloan, there's no rigging going on. Number six. Bring me that flamethrower. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Minus the bread and minus the jelly. So basically just peanut butter. This is gonna get gross and messy. Just like me. All right, round one, begin. This is one of my, this is not. Looks like Corey missed lunch. You guys couldn't spring for chunky. It's a little bit out of a price range. Thank goodness they picked a shape that was pointy on all sides to hurt my hand. Ah, oh, this is so tough. I mean, come on. Sounds like a water bed for a hamster. Oh, oh, is that what it looks like inside? That's fine. There's no time. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a break! Looks like the 80s live on. Okay, okay, okay. Does this work? I made art, at least. Tasty, high-calorie art. <sighs> Where's your riggery claims now, Sloan? Hmm? I was never worried about it for a moment. It's not soothing, but it's not gross. It's just, it's just kind of there. Just like me. Sloan and Ben take the lead as we move on to the next round. Whoa. Oh, the Black Abyss bath bomb. A bath bomb named after my own soul. So that's kind of cool. You want to relax? Take a bath. That's the stress ball for the body. Seven. That's my cue to offer you a pool cue. Oh. Number two. A miniature alligator or a crocodile. Never could tell the difference. The smaller version of the one who ate my uncle. Eric has a love-hate relationship with gators. Mostly, they hate him. Oh! <laughs> yeah, he nipped it. I got a snowman. That's an open golf oh. umbrella. Okay. Take it. Take it. Take it. This is bad luck. Number five, your order's ready. A short and stout little teapot. Am I allowed to leave the set? Allow me to consult the oracle. The oracle says, yeah, why not? Ready, set, break! <laughs> Occupied! No, someone's in the bathroom! Oh, come on! <laughs> oh no, I lost it! Eric's journey to the center of the bath bomb. Cue that prize money. Done! I'm gonna smell so pretty. Corey, you always do. Come on, come on! Come on! <laughs> ben making it rain! Dissolve it to make it? Eric in his natural habitat, breaking balls. And he's been birthed from his egg. Okay, I mean, I mean, I did it. I guess this was a real waste of time. Sorry for whoever was in that bathroom. That was probably very dramatic. It's okay. It was a good one. On to round three. I got a thirst for more destruction. Oh, oh, 
Is this literally a ball of rubber bands? Well, it's not figuratively a ball of rubber bands. Number 11. Seven in one multi-tool pen. And it has the pen, the ruler, and a level. Screwdriver! Life hacks! 12, a dozen, a dozen donuts, a dozen custards. Ooh. Close! It's a pen with a jumbo ink cartridge that lasts for seven years of writing. Number nine. It's a deadly axe! that's been miniaturized into a pen. Oh, sort of what I asked for. And I would like to trade this for a real axe. 10. I feel like if I say it aggressively, then that helps, I don't know. Mostly, it just freaks me out. How about a pen made of magnets? This is the polar pen, a working ink pen, but it's like made of magnets, basically. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. Let's see if our contestants can turn their ink pens into wet pens and break. Uh, 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 uh. Dig deep. This is hard. Like, I think it won't be a break so much as like a detangling and uh, honeys with this hair, um, I have some experience. If I break this, do I get more peanut butter? Corey might need to use that prize money to buy some food. Ow, ow, ow. Drive it all the way through and drive a wedge. This is hard one. Is this cool? I hope the slow-mo cam's running because, Whoa. Oh. Is that something? Is this something? No? I broke it. It's gone. Nice try, Corey, but launching it off screen does not equate to a break. Man, that really hurt. That's not, that is not a ball. That is, if I wiggle it, it will die. Sure, we'll count that as a break. It's a break. On to the next round. All right, give me the next break. Is it there yet? Kyle, filling in for Sloan, gets Sticky the Poo. One of my faves. I will break you. Let's see how to destroy it. Come on, poop knife. 15. A bullwhip. Ah, number 13. A possibly in tune accordion. Who can tell? Joke's on you guys. I've got a minute of this. I don't care about breaking this thing. Ooh. Yes? It's for Corey? Oh, he's kind of busy breaking fake poop right now. Oh, it's urgent? Alrighty then. Number 60. It's a shower curtain. Shower curtain, yes! Our contestants are ready for round four. And go! Yeah! It's gone! Hello, Sticky. It's for you. Yeah! Yeah! Ben Deanna Jones yeah. auditioning for a part in the inevitable Soulless Cash Grab reboot. You know, Sloan does kind of remind me a little bit of Weird Al. If I do this, if I do this, Ben pinching off a loaf of success. You guys know when you sit around the Christmas tree, you thread your poo thread to put on the tree. Isn't that what you do? Make your string up your poo. You just gotta get him through there. Five seconds. 20 more seconds. I gave you $20 for 20 more seconds. 20 seconds left for Eric. It's an investment. There we go. See? I did your break. I played your game. It's time for our big money bonus round. In this round, Rock meets a hard place with an impossible break versus ultimate destroyers. Really? Do we have anything that's breakable? Number 17. Eric gets a battle axe. <laughs> if I can get the perfect frequency, this ball will shatter in twain. 19. Feel that power, Corey. You're getting a sledgehammer. I don't know if I'm gonna break it, but this is gonna be fun. 18. The subtle katana, a weapon known to strike when you least expect it. What? Number 20? A circular saw should help Sloan make that classic 710 split. Aw, uh, okay. I am going to now, full disclosure, do that thing where I clap and then magically I'm in a bunch of safety gear and then, well, no, now that I've said it, the editors won't do it that way. Fine, do something stupid to me. Whoa, now I look cooler than ever. Bonus round, begin! These are hard. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna stay. Table. Scuff on it. Sorry, sorry about the table. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, Ben, that didn't cut it. 
I got close, gang. Eric, I'm just gonna give it to you because everybody's breaking everything else. I think I got through the crust. Honestly, you could probably still bowl with this if you hated your thumb. Sometimes you can't break everything. Unless you're me, then you probably can. Well said, Kyle, and congratulations to all our players. Be sure to check out these and other cool products over at that19.com. We'll see you next time. Eat it up! That19.com